Hello, it's very happy to be uh, right before lunch. I love when I'm placed right before lunch because all half of you will be looking at me like I'm a piece of meat in a you know non Eve teasing way. You know, more of a you know nice way. It's okay. Ooh, chicken legs like that. But the other half would just be like, oh, shut up, woman, just get out. Let's be done with it already. You were already in a video. We don't want to see you more. Just dress up in a sari and come sing for us. That's fine. But um, I was uh, happy that TEDx were, took the bold step of calling me. Good luck. <laughs> uh, for those uh, who don't know who I am, and I know you guys are there somewhere, you don't have to pretend like you know me. Don't worry. I'm not that popular. I'm Sumukhi Suresh, and uh, I'm here to talk about social media, not because Mark Zuckerberg and I are best friends, no. We did not go walk by the lake, talk about Facebook. I did not give him the idea. I did not tell him to include the notifications. I totally did it. I totally. Mark was mean enough to not include it. I love you, Mark. Hashtag, I love you. So I'm a 90s kid, yeah? I was brought up, I, I was born in 1987, it's out. And uh, I know, that's my man. <laughs> I'm a 90s kid, I've, I've touched an encyclopedia, I have. You know, not, not online, I've actually touched it physically, used it for some of my college, school projects, not college, because college Google came. <laughs> And uh, I've seen one of those, you know, those cassettes that you used to put for 64 in one, 76 in one, Mario, Islander, those video games. Loved it. I know. <laughs> Takes on to no one. And uh, I used to watch Doordarshan, you know, Mahabharat and Ramayan, where the arrows looked so horrible. What's up with that? Like the Avengers saw it and they'd just be like, <laughs> nice period. I think 90s was very quaint, it was more private. If you got yelled at by your mom, you didn't have to put it on Facebook. <laughs> if your dad gave you career advice, again, you didn't have to tweet about it within 140 characters. <laughs> it's almost like the Twitter founder woke up one day, he's like, I just want everybody to shut up. I just want them to shut up. I don't want them to talk so much. So, only 140 characters. That's it. You will finish something within 140. Let's see you do that. So this was the period that I grew up. So when social media came to be, I was like, oh my God, that's it. We're racing forward. This is amazing that there are means and communication channels which bring people together, which bring ideas together, which bring a lot of uh, opportunities together, especially for India. Social media has been very benefiting. Because we're, very, we're a dynamic society, nobody's going to take that away. You can say whatever you want about our roads and us being dirty, I know, I agree, we're figuring it out. But we're dynamic people and we used social media for us. So when Orkut came, all of us wrote testimonials. All of us. Regardless of who it is, we wrote testimonials. I love this guy. He was in my school. We did it, but we did it well. So when Facebook came about and the various channels within Facebook came, we use that opportunity for us. I, I think one would agree that startups, especially business opportunities, run their product online. They reach out to the masses and then start their own facility. It's a good thing. When Twitter came about, hashtag came about, LinkedIn came about, there were so many options now that I reached a stage where I just wanted to say that somebody should totally sedate me. Hashtag somebody should sedate me because now there were so many options around. How do I manage it? How do I go about it? How is social media going to affect me? See, yeah, that's somebody said at me. Are you on Facebook? Yeah, Twitter? Yeah, what about Instagram? Snapchat? No? <laughs> Users. <laughs> do you guys have a YouTube account? Yeah? Oh, are you serious? <laughs> you're not on Snapchat, you're on YouTube, what is that? But actually studies show that 30% of uh, Google, you know, online researches are done on YouTube. I don't know what people are researching, so... I don't know what kind of videos people are looking at. I didn't say it. Google said it. 
it's not me. Hashtag it's him. <laughs> so uh, the whole concept of social media when it came about, why is it that I'm talking about it? I'm not a coder. I'm not somebody who's built an app. I'm not somebody who's brought people together. I'm a consumer, just like you. I'm somebody who's been benefited by social media. I was dressed up as an auntie, and it went on YouTube, and people liked it. One day, some of you would come up with a brilliant idea. It can go online, and people will find it interesting. So YouTube became like a catalyst, or any other social media has become a catalyst for things to move forward. In fact, there's a study which is going on right now. I don't know how many of you know. It's called hashtag gratitude test, where it's for uh, patients who are undergoing depression and you know, mental health issues. So what they have to do is every day they post one photograph about what they're grateful for. It's very similar to the hashtag, what, 100 happy days? How many happy days? That's sad, yeah. I, I want to be happy 365 days, but that's fine. So it's a good thing. So by the end of the study, by the 30th day of posting every day about a photograph that you're grateful for, they saw an improvement. They saw that there is somebody who is responding to that. But why is it that consumers are important? Because you and I are literally the people who take Facebook forward. We are the product. We are the consumer. We are the marketing agents. We are actually the salespeople. Because we put something interesting on Facebook or on Twitter or any of the channels, somebody's going to like it. Somebody's going to think about it. Somebody will take it forward. You remember when Facebook used to be that you have to recommend someone and then you get on Facebook? That's how Facebook started. So it's, it's good that they created a, a business for themselves where you were the ones who were taking it forward. They're smart people. Really good. But what about you and me? Are we using it responsibly? Comes to the fact that I know. <laughs> hashtag love, hashtag shake, hashtag daddy's girl, hashtag princess. Hashtag, I'm such a rogue. Hashtag, oh my god. Or hashtag, OMG. There are people who hashtag, oh my god, and then they hashtag, OMG. <laughs> that is redundancy to another level. Are we responsible enough with social media? I'll give you an example. There was a very popular video that came about, and I'm not going to say what video. Let's see how you guys figure it out. When it came about, women went crazy. They're like, oh my god. This is a brilliant video. I must make sure I, I post it. And they posted it all over timeline. They're like, this is it. This is the next thing. This is the next message that everybody's going to take forward. It went viral. It, everybody loved it. Click. Someone posted an online article against the video. And suddenly, the trend changed. Everybody started trolling it. Oh, how dare you? How dare you manipulate us? We women are not to be manipulated. Nonsense. We're totally manipulators, guys. <laughs> We're tough enough to take it. Yeah. And then suddenly, the director of the video came back and said his explanation about the video. And suddenly, the video became good again. So we are these bunch of monkeys in a room where there's a banana kept there. So when the first monkey went and picked up the banana, there was a shock. OK, second monkey went shock. So then the monkey stopped everybody else from taking that banana. In the end, there is no shock. There is no electric shock that is given to the monkeys. The monkeys just stand and stare at the monkey, at the banana. They're just like. So we're just following whatever everybody else is doing. Are we putting enough thought in finding out why is it like that? When we're posting an opinion, when we're posting a view about what we think about a certain thing, are we really thinking about it? I'll give you another example. She's a friend of mine. I like her. I do. Delhi elections were happening. and. Uh, you know how elections are. It's, it's exciting online. Everybody has an opinion. Oh my god, I got my voter's ID. Oh my god, let's vote. <laughs> and she posted saying that, I think she was, she's 19, and she posted saying, she posted a photograph of Kiran Bedi, and she said, oh my god, it, that's the tone in my head, because <laughs> I'm like that. Oh my god, vote for Kiran Bedi for Delhi elections. Totally. Hashtag unvote. Hashtag U-turn. Hashtag daddy's girl. <laughs> Hashtag princess. <laughs> and I'm wondering, this girl is 19, and Kiran Bedi, when she was 
going at it in Tihar jail and cleaning it up like no one's business. This girl was a fetus. She was a fetus. She has no clue who Kiran Bedi is. Just because she does not talk as well as you and me, does that make her less credible? No. She has credibility, but did, did she take the pains to find out more about it? One could, one could wonder. So when it comes to opinions and views and comments, there is the advantage of online anonymity. You can post things anonymously. You can be that introvert who's extrovert online. You can be somebody who can create fake accounts and troll somebody just because you're angry. Envy, jealousy, hatred, the fact that there is something that can be used with the click. That has pushed us to a direction where we're no longer happy about what we're doing. We're no longer, our opinions aren't private anymore. If you have an opinion, if you have an opinion, it's important. If you have an opinion about politics, if you have an opinion about women's liberation, if you have an opinion about the fact that women should be in kitchen, good, at least research about that. If you think that we should be in the kitchen, give me valid reasons. I'll be in the kitchen. I have no problems. I love baking, so I'm cool with it. But at least have a good argument. We're that generation that gets on Wikipedia, we look at the introduction and we know everything about it. <laughs> so we go to this little dinner and we're like, hey, he's like, oh yeah, the scene in Yemen is really horrible. Yeah, like, and the girl, no, she has no clue what Yemen is. She's like, yeah, I know, yeah. Yemen, Yemen, something, bomb, something, hashtag, okay. Yeah, totally, so sad. <laughs> like, it should have, it's so sad, so much blood, hashtag. Do we really want to be those people? Why can't we just say, hey, I don't know what's happening in Yemen. What, the other person be like, what? You don't know the read the newspaper? I don't, you do, why don't you tell me? Which is good enough. Which brings to us the fact that cherish your opinion, cherish your view, social media, is an extremely powerful tool. It will take the right message forward. Let social media not use us. Let us use social media. Let there be opinions and ideas that are discussed. There, there, let there not be random trolling because someone trolled. There is a reason why a particular thing has been put forward. You know when you were teenagers and you used to ask out the wrong girl and you just want to forget about it, you're like, oh my God. I don't want to think about it when I asked her out and she's like, no way, <laughs> too ugly, don't date, Simuki, don't date. You know, you don't want to think about these memories. Social media is that app or that tool that will bring you those memories back. So do you really want to put something now and regret it 20 years later? Imagine your kids like, dad, you, da you asked a girl out and she didn't like you? <laughs> So mom dated you out of pity? <laughs> Am I a pity child? You don't want to go through that, yeah? So no more hashtags, no more hashtags until you know what your hashtag is. Hashtag daddy's girl does not mean anything. We all know we're daddy's girl. Even daddy knows I'm daddy's girl. <laughs> No more rash posts, like no more like, oh, earthquake in Nepal, it tremored. Come on, really? <laughs> it's an earthquake, let's give it some respect. There are people who are dying there and we are safe and sound at a TEDx talk. It cannot be trolled. No more shallow research. If you have a class project, don't copy it from Wikipedia. By the way, I copied it from Wikipedia. That's why I'm telling you, don't copy it from Wikipedia. Research it, it's okay, it's gonna take some time, but you'll get over it. Use social media responsibly, just because it is there, just because people can follow you, just because you want the attention does not mean you deserve it. Ask for it, demand it only if you're worth it. By the way, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Facebook. Instagram. I'm on Snapchat. There's something called Dub Smash now, I'm on that too. So thank you very much.